radio in New York. Now, the Fox okay. Five so report. Just, so just, just, just to be, just to kind of um, clarify, you can just, you can just say it was NPR, uh, and you, and they were listening on an affiliate. Uh, WNYC was the was the affiliate, but but the the network or the radio was NPR. That's it. Yes, exactly. Okay. And the Fox Five. Yes, go ahead. And Fox Five, I did the report on the development and testing of accessibility in Metro Tech Center in Brooklyn, the station lab. It was, it's a regular train station, but which, would, which was transformed into, blah, let me start it over again. Metro Tech Center is a regular train station, which was transformed into an MTA accessibility lab, Metro Transit Accessibility Lab, which um, consisted of technology used to help, tra help travelers improve with their travel, and get their bearings, like the tactile map that I mentioned, the audio map that I that you're able to press down and listen to where you are. Mm -hmm. So, and of course, Ira, which I'm going to get into, which is a big part of these two new stories. So let's start with the NPR radio story. NPR radio. Um, has a reporter named, can I use names in this? Um, pro, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean towards prob probably yes. It's 99, it's m mostly, okay to, mostly okay to name drop. Yes. Okay. So um, NPR radio has a reporter named Samitha Basu. She is the reporter for the We the Community series in New York City. So during that time, she needed um, a guest to assist her in creating a story for accessibility and travel. So the main premise of the main idea of the story was to to report on what it's like for a traveler with a disability to travel in the city of New York. So I was chosen. Um, we spoke, we had a free interview over the phone and we spoke about technology and IRA and all the apps and how the smartphone was beneficial. Ever since I got it in 2018, by the way, I got a, yes, believe it or not, listeners, I did get an iPhone in 2018, my first iPhone ever. First smartphone ever. I had a flip phone well, for many years. Well, King, well, King, well, congratulations to you, man. Better, better now than never. No, no right. problem. And even, even more hilarious than that, I am 28 years old. I didn't send out my first text message until I was 18. So until very recently, this technology was not um, nearly as accessible for us as it as it is now, and we've seen right. a, an immense jump in the technology yes. for sure, yes. Yes, we have, yes, we have, amen to that. So, um, we spoke about that, and we spoke about how I started traveling at the, you know, at the age of 17, and how it was different back then when I used to travel. So I was chosen for the report, long story short, and we were, um, we took the train from my house to Shake Shack. By the way, for those of you who have never heard of Shake Shack, please go to Shake Shack. It's amazing. Wherever, you, it, wherever it may be in your state, county, um, definitely check it out. It has amazing burgers, fries, and drinks. So definitely check Shake Shack out when you get a chance. So moving right along, we went to Shake Shack. And we used Ira at the, at the train station to get from the train station to Shake Shack. So for those of you who don't know, Ira is a service, 24 hour service that connects you to live agents and it's through video. 
and they could see your location. They could help you travel. They help you with other sorts of tasks, such as mail, such as reading your mail, reading your documents <laughs> if needed, and getting a job. Now, with IRA comes a subscription, subscription um, for the service. Depending on which plan you pay for, you get a certain amount of minutes and you get five free minutes for every call. So every call, your first five minutes of every call is free. You also have your access offers and you have your offers for job seekers offer, which is 30 minutes for those of you who are interested in that as well. So definitely, if you ever are curious about IRA, definitely take advantage and look into that if curious. So that's um, those news reports really got me thinking and starting this idea to start a project to help parents um, of blind children travel, help those parents get resources and to have maybe clinics for them to have them walk with, try out the cane, blindfolded or not blindfolded, however, whatever their preference is, because you don't want to overwhelm them too much. And I'm really trying to reach out to um, organizations to please any assistance, any, you know, any parents who want to take part, let's all come together and start this. I really want to change the world for the future of the new generation growing up now. I um, started traveling at the age of 17 independently. Before that, I was taking accessory to school or paratransit, annoying because either they came early or late. So it was either too early or too late. I got to school too early or too late. So it was just like go my whole story about traveling in high school was like Goldilocks. I don't know who, who I don't remember the story of Goldilocks. Goldilocks and the three little bears, right? So remember the porridge, okay? Paratransit. How was the porridge? The porridge was right. either too hot or too cold, right? Versus at the age of 17, poof, when I started traveling independently. What was the porridge? Not too hot, not too cold. Meaning, got to school, just, not too early, not too just late. Right, just right. Just right, right. Correct. Correct. Yes. So, um, so then what was your other news report that you did for uh, Fox 5? Okay, so Fox 5 focused strictly on the accessibility tech lab. Okay, so I went there to, you know, check out the equipment. I was recorded checking out the equipment and seeing the maps and seeing all the resources offered. So I did use, I did demonstrate Ira on my phone to have them see how it works and they reported on that. I did have an interview with the reporter and I, one of the things what that I said was, you know, these resources in the, in the train station would be very accessible and very great for a traveler in training. And, and it would be great for this idea that I have, right? Because a transit system can be scary. There's loud noises. You have trains coming in and out. You have thousands of people running through a station. You have all these sounds. It's like, okay, think of the New York transit system as a three ring circus or any transit system, especially during rush hour. A three ring circus, trains, people back and forth, street performers, music, violins, you name it, you'll hear it in the New York City subway, right? So, to, to have that fear minimized and that overwhelmness minimized, let's start, the, let's start the traveling and training at an early age when they're young. Why not? Because they'll get more exposed to it. 
they'll have more um, resources available. The instructor would have a much easier time with the with the client, and things will go smoother than maybe back in the day when I was traveling. You know, so I wish smartphones were a big thing back when I was traveling. I wish I had a smartphone back when I was 15, 16, 17, but unfortunately, I didn't. So nowadays, tech is so important in our lives, especially for us visually impaired individuals. Very important. Vital. Definitely. Yeah. So let's see, we have about four minutes um, before we take our break. Uh, okay. what, I want to, what I want to you to move towards and to, fo to kind of hone in on is to tell us a story about a specific experience that you've had, maybe working with a student, working with a child, working with a client um, on one of these, basically, basically an O&M experience or an O&M lesson. I would like you to try um, to get into that now, and I'll just jump in when we have to pause. But if you can try to jump into it and tell us about a specific experience you've had, I think that would be that would be good. Well, I'm not an O and M instructor, but okay, maybe fine. maybe it's talking about maybe my experience traveling, probably probably my. Well, the the impression that you're giving is that you have this idea that children and young people should be being exposed to the accessibility of New York's transportation system at younger and younger ages. Yes. So, okay. So do you do any teaching with that? Do you work with families in person with that? Well, this is a new upcoming idea. This is, I'm just thinking mm. about this recently. So I'm starting okay. I'm putting all this on yeah. paper. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, I mean, I think, I mean, I, I agree with the idea. I think it's a good one, but I think you also need to, to yeah, put, put it on paper and, and tell people that, you know, you're just working on this, on this particular idea um yes because the okay well th thank you for thank you for clarifying it's important to clarify uh, uh that that no. yes what oh no i was worried about the podcast i hope it comes out good that's i'm like oh no well it's it's all it's all right no no worries no worries it's just at first um you you gave the impression that you were teaching people how to how to access the uh, um, the transportation system of New York City and that you were going out with people showing them how to use the the, the system. If you have that idea, I think yes. that's great. Okay. So just just to, to be to be clear and to clarify it all, you are actually not teaching people how to use the transportation system of New no, York. No, 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 not okay. no, 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 no. But it sounds like it because I've you know I've experienced well, so much O and M in my past. Okay, because know? it okay. So so oh, please no. well I'm I'm glad I so then I'm glad you're on this podcast. I'm glad you're having this experience. Um because I I think um I think you I think I'm I'm ready to help you to maybe maybe edit, uh, do some edits of this idea and maybe to clarify some of the things that you said because you, you gave, in the group, you gave the impression that you're a teacher who does this for a career. Oh, I wish, no. Okay, no, but well, I think, so then my, um, my advice, which you, which you do not have to follow, I am not an expert, I'm simply giving my opinion, um, I would, I would post again in the group and explain in a little bit more detail that really you are not a teacher and that these are all just ideas that you have. It's good to have ideas, all right? But when you have them, you have to make sure that people understand that they're just ideas. Okay. Oh, I thought so, you actually understood it. Yeah, because I did put something I did put something about the, the so, idea I want to start this project. Well, okay. that's what so, it, so, the, so the reality of it is I might have understood it a little, but I didn't understand it all the way, right? If I got confused Correct. along the way, I didn't understand enough. Correct. So, the, so it's, it's very tricky sometimes, but no worries, just relax, because you're listening to Aaron's Opinion, the podcast for blind people, where we talk about issues in the blindness community from all over the world. Tonight, 
we're in New York City or wherever you're listening. Caroline Radio, Blind Advocate Radio, everywhere else, as we like to say, we'll 